happy to introduce the one that actually has been responsible for building all of this in Ukraine, which is the chairman of Seed from Ukraine Foundation, Dmitry Podolev. The floor is yours. Thank you very much, Stanner. I would like to use this opportunity to, uh, to extend my thanks to the organizers. You're truly doing an amazing job. Now, since we're uh, out of time and I have 30 slides, I'll try to be very quick and very prompt. I'll very briefly describe what is iHub, why we do it, and what are the results so far during the course of one year of our operation. Now, iHub is a social innovation center. We help young entrepreneurs and innovators build business. We provide several services. We provide an amazing space where they can work and communicate with like-minded people. We provide a lot of expertise and training and new opportunities when it comes to both technical and business education. And we provide great opportunities to access both Ukrainian and foreign mentors, and what's most important, via the Seed Forum network, we provide access to capital. Because as much as uh, of you know, capital at one point or the other becomes the driving force of new SMEs. As our main goal, we try to build a truly vibrant, let's call it the Ukrainian Silicon Valley. And uh, in the course of the last uh, 12, 13 months, we've established several iHubs, namely in Kiev, Chernigiv, Lviv, and now opening one in Vinitsa. And uh, very soon we're gonna go international with locations in Chisinau, Moldova, and Belisi, Georgia. But this is only the beginning. Our plan during the next year is to open at least eight more locations across Ukraine because we see a lot of opportunities and a lot of untapped potential in the region, which unfortunately more, more often than we would like, to, uh, would like to see is absolutely under the radar of international business and international investors. IHUB Kiev was the first location we opened less than one year ago, the end of November last year. Today, it's 600 square meters, hosts 25 amazing startup companies with 122 entrepreneurs. We already have 45 alumni that I'm very proud to say have raised millions of dollars of private angel and venture capital, created hundreds of new, highly paid jobs, and we have a huge community of more than 11,000 people in Kiev alone. We hold almost one event every single working day. Thus far this year, we have held over 130 events at various topics from two-hour event to 48-hour events, with 10,000 young guests atten attending, thus driving more interest to become entrepreneurs and innovators. Numerous topics, numerous mentors, not just from Ukraine, but from abroad, and all for free, which is amazing. We plan major expansion in public-private partnership with the Kiev city government at Khrushchev 10, maybe many of you have already heard. This is gonna be one of the largest European innovation entrepreneurship centers where we have received for 10 years lease-free, amazing communal property from the government of Kiev. We plan to host more than 50 startups with 30, 300 entrepreneurs, and we plan to make 250 events with 30,000 guests in our total community, which is gonna be a truly huge push to develop innovation and entrepreneurship in the city of Kiev. Like Steiner mentioned, we have recently opened IHUB Lviv, again, in public-private partnership with the city government of Lviv which without whose support we would not be able to work because they provide incredible centrally located real estate free of charge for us for 10 years. So even though the Norwegian back project is still to last for less than two years, our operation is guaranteed to provide support and help to young Ukrainians for at least 10 years to come. I hope we will have 80 places. We have already thousands of people in our community and the figure is just going to grow. Numerous events and amazing speakers and guests. I have Vinitsa is opening on the 24th of November. I'd like to welcome all of you to take part. This is the beautiful building just behind the city hall. It's smaller as the city is smaller, but still it's gonna be an amazing place to work and live. We are gonna host first stage about 50 working places, around 10 to 12 startup companies, and we expect a community of two to two and a half thousand people. And we have more than 2,000 guests per year. This is the social criteria, social responsibility we take in front of our, both our uh, support from the ministry, but also that we guarantee to our local partners. Chernigiv was a huge success. While being extremely small and a very small city, very close to Kiev, we see a lot of demand for, from small cities to actually tap into this expertise and talent and try to create something new, something amazing. And we even have very young startup entrepreneurs around the age of nine or 10. Ivano-Frankivsk is gonna be last, and very important to say that both Vinitsa and Ivano-Frankivsk have pushed it further. Initially, we thought that you know, free real estate from the government is absolutely impossible, but what we've achieved with Vinitsa 
and Ivano-Frankivsk is pushing the envelope even further. Thanks to the Norwegian funding, we have also received co-funding for both Vinica and Ivano-Frankivsk city governments to invest into the much needed reconstruction of these communal properties in order to establish IHUBs. Now this is what we've, we're currently doing, but we have very important two major plans for next year and the few years to come. Number one, we need to drive more young students to become entrepreneurs and to realize that innovation and business is actually possible and we can do it. So we're launching a comprehensive edu entrepreneurship education program which will be licensed by the Ministry of Education at some of the top universities in Kiev and across the country. And we're also launching our so-called soft landing program, which will provide tech-based and IT companies from Norway, not just the big ones, but especially the small and the medium companies, to soft land their R&D offices, their local representations at any of our IHUB locations. This will provide you with a solid uh, social partner in the name of Seed Forum and IHUB. This will help you save both time and money on launch and have complete control over your R&D and local resources. So on this note, I would like to welcome all startups, all tech companies to join and to use our platform as your business soft landing tool in Ukraine. On this note, I would very much like to extend our, our lot of gratitude and thanks to the Norwegian people, to the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs for your continued support, without which support none of this would really be possible. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and from all of the community of startup entrepreneurs in Ukraine.